I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And this is The Bible Reloaded. And we are filling in for TJ? Yeah, TJ being who he is, is yeah. lazy and not here, so we're we're yeah. here to babysit you. Yeah. Which, yeah. if you consider his demographic, male, 18 to 40, that's kind of a creepy babysitting job, or, or a the best. sexy babysitting job. Yeah, we're not wearing shirts, so you're welcome. So today we're going to go ahead and check out a Chick Track, and if you don't know who we are or what we do, this is one of the things we do on our channel. Chick Tracks are evangelical comics yeah. written by Jack Chick, and they're fucking awful. So we're going to check one out today. And this one is called How to Get Rich and Keep It. And I guarantee you, you need to take zero notes, and you will do just fine financially. But if you do take notes and follow this, you will fail so you should not follow this. Can you fail at failing? Can you? Yes. Then you By succeed. By succeeding at being at being chick track guy. Well, all right then. To the tracks. It's not a Batmobile. Very few things are a Batmobile. <laughs> Hardly anything. Only things. like five things are a Batmobile. <laughs> Herbert, you've been waiting for years for me to die so you could get your greedy hands on my fortune. Oh no, Uncle John, I've enjoyed waiting on you 18 hours a day for 20 years just to take care of you. Well, that's... that's really how much work I made you do? A lot, yeah. I'm surprised you've been awake that often. You are an old man. Uh, call my lawyer. It's time for me to make out my will. It feels like you should have done that sooner. Also, my accent is very slippery. It's... it's changing. It's a little South African now. I don't... I don't know why... <laughs> Uh, what do you mean I should have done this? I'm only 97 and a half. Hurry, lawyer. Uncle John is in bad shape. You don't have to call me lawyer. Lawyer! No, that's... My name is Bramlett. Bramlett looks a little bit like if TJ and the Monopoly guy had a baby. Wait, why is the old guy gurgle, gurgle, wheeze? That's the noise he's that you make He's He's got so much... He's got so much pneumonia. You know, that's the liquid in his body. Oh... This is... Be patient, young man. Be patient. He's dying. You're the worst lawyer. If you're his lawyer, why did you wait 20 fucking years? I'm really not a good lawyer. I still wear a top hat. <laughs> I see that. I've given up on the accent, by the way. <laughs> and to my nephew, Herbert, I do bequeath and endow all my earthly goods. I've always wanted to say... Bequeath and endow all my earthly goods, and fi last one on the bucket list, right above, have a three-way with the Olsen twins, which I didn't do, but I paid two hookers to look like them. It took months and months of them not eating to get to where they needed to be to look like the Olsen twins. I feel like one of them should have eaten somewhat, and one should have not eaten at all to get a more the realistic only, effect. The only thing they ate was my ass. <laughs> okay. At long last, Uncle John's fortune is mine. Oh, there's the accent, yes. Drool. Herbert, why are you slobbery? I'm Danny DeVito in Batman Returns. Like the penguin? Yeah, the penguin, but he's, da he's Danny DeVito. Let's be real. Oh. The wheel looks good. Give me the pen and... <laughs> I'll sign it. Here's the pen, John. The suspense is killing me. I don't know what's happening to the background behind me, but it looks like an anime action shot it should is. be happening. It's, it's it's just like when 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 Frieza attacks. It's the only anime I'm aware of. Is the Dragon Ball Z Frieza? <laughs> <coughs> Uncle John, you didn't sign the will. You dropped the pen. I have terrible arthritis! I'm afraid he's gone. His hand is still up in the air shaking and he's still making a wheezing sound with his chest. But I'm pretty sure he's gone. He I'm alive! I'm still alive! No. Pretty sure you're dead. You're dead. I... I can't believe it. It's like a horrible dream. He didn't sign it. He didn't. Sign it. This is like the end of a Twilight Zone episode, mm -hmm. but like a bad one where there was no setup. Yeah. Like, this is if it had kept going after Rod Serling died and then Forrest Whitaker became the new host, what? which happened. What? That happened? That happened. He's got a weird... 
Weird eyeball. That was the twist at the end of every episode. Look at me, I'm Forrest Whitaker. Oh wait, look at this side of my face. Isn't it weird? <laughs> Since there was no will, your Uncle John's fortune will go to the state. Of course, we could make a deal right- No one's around. You could sign this on his behalf. Sign just a little bit over to me, sweeten the pot, and uh... And and you and I will both be very, very well off. I'm actually pretty sure there are next of kin statutes and laws in place for this sort of situation. You at best were the manservant. So. I'm gonna be real with you. When he was getting up there, I took on some penis duties. What? Like, har- like sexual or just like everyday penile maintenance? Uh, both. Also, when I say duties, I don't mean like jobs. I mean poop came out of his wiener. This is... Is this how deep we'll go for a shitty joke? Shitty dick joke? I hate you. There will be some minor court and attorney fees, of course. I'll get something, won't I? Oh, I'm yes. shaking. Shaking in this throne-like chair. I said I'll get something, won't I? Unhand me! I'm wearing a toppet! Don't you know who I am? C Colonel Mustard? I don't no. know... Bramlett! Lawyer Bramlett! That was the twist, my name was Lawyer. Yes, yes, I'm sure you'll get something. I promise you. One year later? Didn't I promise you something from the estate, Herbert, my boy? Yeah, so yes, Lawyer, what is it? He became like a- he became very effeminate in the last year. He He's came to- a little thing on his hair. He came to terms with a lot of stuff. His year away from his horrible, horrible, overbearing- Grandfather? Did he say who Uncle he was? Herbert. Uncle whatever. He really came to terms with who he was, and I respect him for that more than anything. I'm just happy he's who he is, you know? A bill from the state for back taxes amounting to $4,980.21. Pretty sure the estate would have covered that. No. He had millions of dollars. No, he pretended to have millions of dollars. There's a huge difference. Oh, so this is the Twilight Zone twist. Yes. Case number two, because the other one was case number one, apparently. This is an anthology surprise. It's, 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 it's less like Twilight Zone, more like Night Gallery. That's the Night Gallery twist. No one understands that reference. Okay, well, if you don't understand what Night Gallery is, I don't want you. Go away. Can you make my home vaguely proof? Absolutely. We understand the most advanced techniques for your protection, but it'll cost you... I don't care what it costs, start work immediately. That's a good deal, I'm gonna do lots of things for you. I like your, I like your jumpsuit. It's a very nice jumpsuit, I wear it. That denim? It's denim, it's got pockets, it's denim, very versatile fabric. That's not, I wear silk suits only in bow ties. And, and the glasses that sit on your nose but they don't need the things that go around your ears. As you can, as you can see. They have a, a, a chain that connects it to my pocket. All right, I got denim things to do. I'll be back. Okay. Well, have you finished? Yes, sir. This is the secret combination that gets you into the house. Only you will know it. I put the panel outside the house, you see, to make sure it's easier to break in. Oh, this seems counterproductive. No burglar's gonna expect this, though. Aspect? Gonna aspect. They're gonna be like, oh, this is panels outside. It must be a trick or something. I don't expect this. I don't... Okay. Let's be clear, I wear denim for a living. I don't know what you expect. <laughs> the TV screens and radar will alert you in the police if anyone is on your grounds. Very good. Now show me the vault. Look how hairy I am with my denim. I'm basically Robin Williams. Oh, that was... He's not alive anymore. I'm denim Robin Williams, but I'm alive. This fault is absolutely burglar-proof. Only you have the combination. <laughs> I did all this because I don't trust the banks! Cause... Fox News, probably. I'm glad you don't trust them. Yeah, I just... I don't know why you... Are you... Are you too a very big fan of... Rush Limbaugh? I'm more of a Glenn Beck guy. Glenn Beck is now on The Blaze. I love the blaze. Do you? It's the blaziest. He cries a lot, but he's now more fashionable than he was when he was anti-George Bush. I have wet dreams about him and Ayn Rand all the time. Oh, libertarians. It's such a good feeling to know my fortune is safe. I think I'll go down and count all my money again, like Scrooge McDuck. 
Hmm. Is that a little city he has next to his bed? I th- I it's think pills. it's I think it's pills. I'm a very sick old man. Maybe it's a drug city. One hour later. Officer, I can't believe it! How did they do it? I was the only one who had the combination. Who installed the safe? The Safety First Lock Company. Who else? Of course it was the safety... F- this, they are not very good at making names for their company. It's it, uh, it saw it on a billboard. I shouldn't... And they had an infomercial at night. It was like one of those shitty... It was akin to a shitty car salesman, like, in quality-wise. of. But I really liked their passion. Safety First Lock Company. We like your stuff. In the safe. That was their jingle. That explains it. This is Dirty Joe. We call him that. <laughs> Dirty Joe. Because of the denim, you see. He's wanted in ten states. He owns the Safety First Lock Company. Wait, well, hold on. The government of the United States of America allowed this felon in ten separate states. That is, that is 20% of all the states. That exist in the United Ones. And he was allowed a business license to install things that provide security for homes and money, which is directly the crime that he has been committing his entire career. And on all of his paperwork, he signed it Dirty Fucking Joe. He contributes a lot to the community, you see. Are you Dirty Joe? Your voice is now exactly like Dirty Joe's. No, you see, I'm not wearing denim. It's... Okay. Explain this to me, then. Dirty Joe gave you the combination. He's also very wealthy. He keeps his money in a bank in Switzerland. Oh, I should've... That is a white country. He also gets lots of his denim. Lots of Swiss denim. Swiss denim? Swiss denim. It's the silkiest denim. You'd think that'd be a contradiction, but clearly you haven't touched Swiss denim. (laughs) Ah, what happened to my $9,000 floor-length mink coat? Great civilizations have fallen to simple little moth. Also, rust, dust, time, and vegetation wipes away all memories of the wealthy ones. Wait a second, hold on. The point point being, moths eat mink coats? Uh, and, the, and then time erases wealth? Yes. But what does that have to do with being robbed of the wealth? Uh, like, why was it... Why was it well, a, they needed to fill a comic. With all his billions, Howard Hughes lies in a grave without a single thin dime in his hand. Because you, Howard Hughes is some sort of moral argument. I, I also think Howard Hughes was probably uh, uh, pretty happy with the money he had when he was alive. Generally, that's how you, you... The Howard Hughes Foundation pays for, like, PBS. And, like, you know, money obviously isn't everything. But it's pretty fucking important. Even the mighty pharaohs buried with their treasure have been picked clean by grave robbers. Well, well a lot of it's in museums. Yeah. And, also, and, they're, they're remembered forever because of the wealth they amassed, so... <laughs> so... <laughs> so it worked! Nothing lasts forever. Also, look at these obelisks in the fucking desert that have lasted 2,000 years. <laughs> the world's financial picture is so bad, the only thing that can save us from total collapse is an all-out, full-scale, thermonuclear war. That will save us from collapse. Because if your market's blown up, it can't collapse. Because it's already blowed the fuck up. This was George Bush's tax plan. I, how is that an argument? This The world is fast becoming an insane asylum. Is there any possible way to get rich and keep it? There is only one way. Why? Trust funds and bearer bonds, like in Die Hard. You ever seen Die Hard? I've seen Die Hard. They're stealing bear bonds. Oh. Which are untraceable. John McClane could have taken a couple. He didn't, though. He's a good guy. He's John. The Bible tells us we can put our treasures up in heaven where thieves can't break in or moths or rust destroy it. I am so happy that heaven has both a rust and a moth contingency plan. That's good. They have a defense system against moths. 
That's why it's so bright. Probably mothballs. Yeah, it's or or those things that electrocute moths when they run into it, the the bug zappers. Just a lot of them. Heaven's full sh- of well, bug zappers. Well, that's why it's so that's why it's so Luminescent. bright. Yeah, mm-hmm. because it's just so round. It's one giant bug zapper. <laughs> you tricked me. Wait, why is he angrily holding this this tract? This tract is. Because it's not actually telling you how to get rich. If there's a person, oh. if there's a person on the street who looks at this track and goes, "I'm about to become a millionaire," <laughs> they deserve they, this moment. Then they probably are going to be converted by this track, frankly, because <laughs> their mental level is such. Oh, so he tricked and then not really, but I hope you're greedy enough to go on with the message. Oh yeah, that makes me want to read more. That Thanks, makes- Jack Chick. <laughs> Uh, it's a good thing Jack Chick doesn't think he's better than anyone else. <laughs> is that am I right? Uh, we're gonna read this part. No, fuck no, it. No, we're not. Uh, but it is. It's in. It's in First uh, Timothy. If you make money down here, you know Earth. Earth uh, you've you've got to plan and study, put in long, hard hours of work, unless you're a Kardashian, and be hard as nails to survive in this financial jungle. We need money. We need machetes made out of out of hundred dollar bills to cut through the thicket in the financial jungle. You've got to expect to make enemies, take chances, put pressure on people, make the right connections, and then you might make it. Everyone in Jack Chick's mind is Gordon Gecko. Yes. Can I be Charlie Sheen? No, but you can be you can be Shia in the reboot. Fuck. I don't want to be Shia LaBeouf. If they were like, you could all have all of Shia LaBeouf's money, but you also have to be Shia LaBeouf. I, no. I wouldn't say no, but I'm not saying yes. I'll sue you for every cent you've got. I'll be your friend as long as you have money. There's arrows inside me. My friend, you are chasing the winds. No, they are, I was chasing nothing, and then apparently stereotypical 1950s and 40s Western Native Americans came out like Apaches, and they shot me with their bow and arrows. Well, that's this economy for you. Lots of Indians shooting you with arrows. To put a lasting investment in heaven will cost you. First, you have to receive the priceless gift God sent you from heaven. Eternal life. Oh. The Bible says... And if you believe that... Well, can we stop here? Because I don't. <laughs> and become a follower of Christ, the price will be raised eyebrows. What? Loss of some friends, ridicule, laughs behind your back, some persecution. So what? You already got some of that in the business world. Wait, wait, wait. Plus, you get to feel better than everybody else, just like Jack Chick. So isn't that worth it? Raised eyebrows? That's not a bad thing. That's just people being like, oh! They're so provocative. I'm showing surprise. Loss of some friends. Well, if, I mean, maybe they don't want to deal with you being an asshole. I think Jack Chick thinks that being a Christian is what made him lose all his friends instead of how big of a cunt he is. Uh, he's <laughs> No, Jack Chick, you're just a cunt. You're just a the cuntiest. Now let's look at the benefits. Right now, Jesus is preparing a place for you in a mansion up in heaven. He's, he's kind of like a housekeeper, like a pre, though. Pre-housekeeping Jesus. He's a concierge. Yeah. Like in Pretty Woman. Hmm. Starting now, all the good works you do for Christ, like helping others, will start putting riches in your new bank account in heaven. <laughs> for those of you who don't read Chick Tracks, he says in like every other Chick Track that good deeds don't mean shit, by the way. He can't stay consistent, so I don't know what the they fuck he's doing. They don't mean shit as far as your destination, but you can be richer than the other rich people in heaven the nicer you are. So you want, like, really... Donald Trump's gonna be so destitute. I know. He'll still probably have to wear that wig, though. That'll be his punishment. <laughs> While you're on this planet, here are some present benefits. Besides peace of mind, Jesus, who incidentally created this planet, uh, has promised to love, protect, defend you, and meet your every need. Every single need. So, like, if I'm, like, homeless and I become Christian, am I gonna all of a sudden, like, have a house and a family that loves me? No, no, but he might, he might allow you to encounter a kind restaurant owner, uh, at, like, at the end of the night, and, and in, he, instead of throwing the bag of scraps in the trash, he'll set it to the side so you don't have to climb in and get it. Can I get hard bagels? No, 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 but you you can have the shells of hard-boiled eggs. Well, that's all right. That's good something for you. I don't know if it's protein or what. It's good roughage. 
which is real important when you're pooping on the street because you don't want to linger too long. <laughs> in heaven, you'll have eternal life. You'll reign with Christ. That's going to be a very confusing sort of ocracy because yeah. everyone's in charge. Judge angels. Ooh, we get to judge angels. Hey, angel, <laughs> your hair's stupid. I don't like how you walk. Become a joint heir with Christ, then Jesus soon returns to the planet to take over the governments of the world, <laughs> and he'll come back except, to reign with him. Except North Korea. Except North Korea. So just a dead zone. They'll know? remain sovereign. Yeah. The oons will be there until the end of time. <laughs> All the peasants will be like, you know, it was bad for a while, but he was playing the long game, and I respect that. <laughs> and one of the biggest benefits is, you'll miss out on hell. Oh, that is a good benefit. So that thing that, you know, God made for you to suffer in he'll let you not go there which is beneficial to you because think of the worst thing ever literally worse than that you know what would be better is if is if the default position that you were in was heaven and you earned hell you know what i'm saying like you're just that big of a cunt like i think i think maybe uh if you're if you have to have hell if you're like i gotta i gotta burn somebody you start out and you're like, okay, everyone automatically gets heaven, and if they're good, that's where they stay. But that's not it's you're automatically hell, and then if you're good, maybe maybe you go to heaven, but only if you um like the guy that got crucified. I just think like it doesn't make what about really, really neutral people like Kevin Costner, for instance, <laughs> made very little impact on the world around him yeah. with anything he's ever done. Uh but he did make Waterworld, which puts him in like <laughs> One percent below the threshold of heaven. Let's be fair. He's in purgatory. He's in purgatory that looks a lot like Waterworld, and he'll just have to drink his own pee and uh, write terrible plots for the rest of his life. I didn't learn uh, anything. I have never learned anything. <laughs> this show has been detrimental to my skill set <laughs> as a person. So I don't know. Basically, it was here's how you can be rich. Just you can't. You can't do that. You can't, but be good to people. But it doesn't really matter. But also <laughs> Jesus. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you like what you see here, or even if you don't, I don't care. Click the big red subscribe button. Or maybe TJ annotated it or not. If it isn't, that's on TJ, and he's a lazy piece of shit. But we already knew that. If not, it'll be in the in the description or something. Or you can just find us at you know the Bible Reloaded. Yeah. Uh, we also do an atheist Bible study on there. We do reviews of Christian films. Mm -hmm. We do uh, videos where people ask us questions and stuff. We do lots of shit over there. So if you like us and what we do, check us out. So until next time, or I guess not. Next time will probably be TJ or someone else. So until next time, you're T. And I'm J? That should have been reversed. Yeah. Anyway, this is the Bible Reloaded. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs>